GG's The Mouthful Podcast is brought to you by GoodGame.Tech, the most welcoming gaming community on Facebook. Join the conversation at www.GoodGame.Tech. Welcome back, everybody. This is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog, and this is going to be episode 40 of GG's The Mouthful. No GG? <laughs> no GG. <laughs> well, with me, go. as always, <laughs> is Mr. David Santos, a.k.a. The Twisted Dreamer. Because I'm broke, but I'm happy. I'm poor, but I'm kind. I'm short, but I'm healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for a little poetry in the morning here. What's going on, sir? Sir, I am not awake yet. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that. it is like 30 degrees it's out there. Ridiculous, man. No, 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 no. This Seriously, is, it's good. It's Actually, bullshit. it's hot in this room. It, no, 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 no. It's, it is hot in this room. No, what I'm saying outside. That's not good. No, no, no. That's outside, BS, bro. Yeah, no. That, that's too cold. No, I'm fine with that. No, that's not This right. is Florida. Okay. We're always hot. Hence the reason. Every that's now right. and then. This every is now Florida. and then we should, have, we should mm-hmm. have a cold morning like this. No. this It froze, this, it froze my GG. This makes, me feel, <laughs> <laughs> this makes me feel like the end of the world is just a bit closer. <laughs> well, you know, you know, climate changes. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly yeah, happened, yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Uh, so yes, uh, mm-hmm. this is your first time listening to the show, and uh, GG stands for Good Game. It's one of the premier uh, Facebook groups. And Give me a G. <laughs> Give me another G. What's the spell? Good game. What's the spell? Good game. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Uh, and if you want, you want to join the conversation, go to goodgame.tech and uh, join up right there. That takes you right to the Facebook group directly, much easier to find. Uh, and, of course, it links to everything that we have. And uh, yeah. Participate, join us, uh, check out our, our uh, YouTube. Just give us something, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that domain is coming down for renewal real soon, and we need the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't realize that. I just thought about that. Yeah. No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, we don't ask for money. We just ask for your attention. A little bit of your time. Participation. Share us. Yes. Everybody gets a participation participation trophy. Yeah, there you go. So so sir, what do you have planned for the weekend? Uh well I well for this weekend I am still doing a little bit of errands around the house and cleaning and stuff. Uh I already have my man cave well, I can call it a man cave because I'm sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have my portion <laughs> already set up, so I have my TV, and I've been playing some games, and I've been watching some movies. Uh, yesterday, I uh, saw uh, uh, Creed. Oh, Creed. yeah? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? No, that's the Rocky yeah, s- the, 7 or 8, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it has Rocky in it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> but... but uh, it, it was it was good. It, I mean, two hours, two hours and f- five minutes, okay. a little bit longer than anticipated it to be, and no, not a whole lot of drama. Uh, I thought I was gonna have a little more bit action. More. No, not no. It was it, it felt it was good. I mean, I enjoyed it. You know, I, some I, I think I really like is I like boxing, so I think I, I was watching you know those fights. As if there were real fights. <laughs> Not pre- I was like, no, man, but you can see. Oh, but you see, at the end, he was, oh, my so taken. That's actually, that's messed up. Uh, so, so I was watching, uh, you know, that. And that, like, I, like I said, the movie, it, it's okay. You know, it, it, it's good. It shouldn't be missed. Uh, considering that I still, to this day, haven't watched None of the Rockies from one to three. Oh, from the I saw four. I saw five. Everybody's seen four because everybody's seen four. U.S. Yeah. versus Russia, dude. That, yeah, <laughs> everybody's seen that. I one. think that's the yeah. That was my entry, and I don't know like the history. Like I, the the uh, I didn't know when. I can't picture Apollo being quote unquote the antagonist. Oh, you know? re- oh okay, I got you. Was he like a jerk? He yeah yeah he, I mean he was still kind of a jerk in, in four but he was his friend yeah. at that point so yeah no, <laughs> you know I but was he like, was he was a a very uh, uh, it was flashy yes extremely flashy very uh, uh, how do you say it uh, 
just like really uh, confident. Oh, o- yeah. Over, overly confident. Oh, oh but, like cocky? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was thank very you. Very cocky. cocky. Oh, okay. And, okay, uh, okay. So, and then, oh, that's and, good. Yeah. It was, it's, well, you should see it at one point. Just Is that, which, which one's the best? We was, would you say? Well, let, let put it this way. The first one was actually, I think it was nominated and may have won Academy Awards. Oh, is that the one with uh, Clover? No, the first Clover, one. Yeah. Clover, no, 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 the first one. No, no. Oh, which no. one's the Mister T? If That's I part to. three. That's part three. Yeah. <laughs> Who does he find in part one? He Apollo. Apollo is the one. That, oh, okay. All yeah. right. He plays. Uh, the spoilers here for people who haven't seen Rocky. <laughs> uh, like he, me. Yeah. He fights Apollo in the first one, uh-huh. and then the rematch is the sec is the sequel. Oh, and then, okay. Uh, and then from there, and now by the third, they're buddies. By the fourth one, the third is when they become buddies because he mm. helps him to to get become a better fight. Apollo helps him to become a better fighter so that he can defeat Clover uh-huh. Lang. Oh, okay, yeah. all right, man. Okay, all right. At some point, <laughs> yeah. between today this. and the end of the year, <laughs> I will watch it, sir. We have several bets already. <laughs> by the way, we are in 2017. And you still haven't beaten The Witcher 3. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I think you owe me something. I'm that, not sure what I don't, it is. Uh, we, yeah, we had to check our list of bets <laughs> to see what is it that uh, yeah. that I missed there. Uh, so so that was that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I know I saw uh, another movie uh, recently. Oh, uh, 47 Ronin. 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 Did Ronin. you like it? Yeah. Okay. I watched it in Spanish, though. Because mm-hmm. it was it was played on Telemundo and oh. my wife had to catch it at the beginning. She's like, "Oh, let's watch this movie." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I haven't seen it." So it was <laughs> it was something special. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, a yeah, bunch yeah. of samurai speaking Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I love Spanish speaking samurai. Yeah, <laughs> they they call him um, mestizo. Mes- mestizo, that's what they call mestizo. Oh, mestizo. nice! That was, uh, you know, the the character played by Keanu. Keanu, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, 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 and, and yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, the fact that at the end it was, it, it said that it it was based on on events, on real events in Japan or something like that. It was. Okay, I, I can explain it. Yeah, go ahead, please <laughs> explain the thing because I because at some moment it felt like like uh, like Sony's uh, this game is based on actual battles uh, that happened in Japan. So here's a giant enemy crab. <laughs> okay, so the actual events that happen are the forty seven Ronin themselves, uh-huh, the whole right. spiritual and all the stuff that's not there. obviously. Yeah, that's not actually happening. that's actually based off the comic book that. Um, uh frank miller did okay so frank miller did a graphic novel of the same story mm. and that became a you know one of the big graphic novels and that's the version that they put mm. into the film well those uh, who don't know the movie goes into the fast fantastical oh, like real fantastic, quick yeah. <laughs> yes so the story of the 40s I mean, it's the same story though. it's uh-huh. the correct thing there uh it was a group of uh samurai samurais are literally like uh guards to the, to their lord mm. and when and they you know that their their purpose is to guard him you know yeah to the end you know um and a ronin is a um is a masterless samurai that's what that's what they are that means mm-hmm. that their master was killed and mm-hmm. generally if your master's killed you know that's dishonorable and they commit seppuku <laughs> oh, okay. they just kill themselves um so ronin decide not to these particular uh ronin in this and i don't know i don't think this is the keanu reeve version what but in the real, real story mm. these they remain ronin and planned and did everything they could to take out the master or take out the the group of people who killed their master. master yeah and once they did then they killed themselves oh so okay. that's that's the original story so that's apparently it's a true story uh-huh. uh but obviously you know <laughs> yeah. the keanu reeves version is a little bit loose <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> loose it. on the details <laughs> yeah you have to suspend your disbelief <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> from here to space <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but it was an enjoyable movie i i, I liked it i liked it yeah um and then uh so we're talking we might as well go into what we've been playing also. oh yeah yeah so That's, yeah so we're in it. so i was so i'm so glad i was able to hook up my uh, ps4 and continue my journey on um final fantasy 15 mm-hmm. that game still pissing me off <laughs> in certain areas it's like why but for some reason i can't put it down it's like okay you know so i intend to do that it, uh to finish it and uh, I play Yakuza Zero. Oh. Now, actually, I was very surprised by uh, the 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 reviews that that it was taking that it was getting 
So I was like, oh, yeah, I remember I had a hell of a good time playing Yakuza 3. And this was me not knowing the previous ones. Uh, but oh, you started at 3? I, I started at 3, okay. but 3 came in with a very, very lengthy explanation of 1 and 2. I mean, I'm talking about movie length. Mm-hmm. It was pretty, pretty much playing all the cutscenes from the previous from the previous games. Well, at least they filled you in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it worked. And it worked. Uh, so, so playing this one, I felt, well, this is great. I don't need to know the backstory because it is, it is an origin story, you know? Uh, let me tell you. So you're looking at the backstory. So I'm looking look at the backstory. This game is pretty much a PS3 game put on a PS4 console because it still, it, it still uses very archaic uh gaming tropes like the safe system you have to go to a particular place to to you the know, phone to save booth, game. Right? the phone booth the phone yeah, booth yeah yeah you go there um when you activate the phone book it takes you into a ps3 like cross media bar you remember when it, the screen uh, turns black, uh, yeah. turns black yeah. and then you then you see the little squares the little uh um save things you you select from there mm-hmm. it does that it tries to automate it as much as it can, so it doesn't ha- it doesn't ask you to press buttons. What once you select where you want to save, you see the bar going and it fills out, and then it says save complete, and then another bar fills out, and then it takes you and it takes you into the game. So it's kind of clunky. Clunky is the name of the game <laughs> <laughs> because it feels like a PS2 game. Wow. Yeah. As far as uh, you, you play tech actually. I think I believe we have a copy over here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, what? oh the original Yakuza. Yeah, I got it. There. Oh, Yakuza. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yakuza for PS2. Uh, look at the back of that real quick. Man, that is dusty as hell. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sir. That's to tell you the last time I've seen I've uh, played this. You see those graphics? It can't be like That's, that. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Let me let me check. Because I was looking at some screenshots from uh, Yakuza Zero, and they look a little better than that. Okay. Okay. They look yeah. well. They look PS3. Okay. They look. Okay. They, they look gotcha. exactly. And it doesn't it doesn't get any improvement, not not the loading screens, not the menu system, not nothing. And then I come to pass uh, I mean uh, uh, I come to realize through Adam that did a little research on it, uh, Adam Gurr, mm-hmm. and he found out that the PS uh, then in Japan uh, Yakuza Zero was released on PS3. Uh, that's and what I was that's like, what well, I thought, yeah. Oh, then that yeah. makes sense. They they. They didn't do anything to improve this, you know. No <laughs> PS4 Pro support. Well, I mean, no it, support on that. Not even. I can't even say that the engine runs better. Yeah, but if it was a late PS3 uh, thing, then I mean, how much of a difference would it have been? Yeah, but I mean, I tell you, I played this game. I played uh, Yakuza Three and Yakuza Four, and now this one feels exactly, exactly to the dot as Yakuza Three did. You know. So so yeah, no improvements there. Uh, so it makes it a little bit hard to recommend. Uh, to recommend. I mean, that said, the story is wonderful. Uh, the 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 it's it's like a it's like a gangster sub opera. Mm-hmm. So it is very you know it is very interesting. It has its hooked on me. It's the Sopranos in Japan. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. in the, <laughs> you can say that. So I want to keep playing that, uh, but uh, I need to finish uh, Final Fantasy. Because Andromeda is right, right around the corner. Right around the corner. That's right. And I saw that last trailer. And I guess we're going to talk about it later <laughs> on the news. But yeah, it looks very hot. And that's all I've been doing. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well all I've been doing was uh, I, I put down uh, the Talos Principle. You were playing the Talos Principle, yeah, I remember, yes. Uh, that shit was just getting really frustrating. I <laughs> you mean, mean frustra- like hard or? It's hard, like, yeah. That's okay. what it, because the puzzles are starting to get like break your head hard. I mean, oh. at some point... I'm like I'm getting a headache. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's just because I'm thinking too hard. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Is that, so I was like, okay. Are you talking about witness the witness level hard? The well, where you have to uh, like the environment gives you clues or, or something like that. The well, if there is, I haven't seen any environmental clues. Oh, maybe uh, that's a problem. Maybe yeah. Maybe you I have have to start looking at the start environment. Looking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Could be, but uh, so I put it down for now. I'm not. I'll, I'll go back to it, but uh, mm. uh, I, tr- I started trying. Uh, I w- jumped right into Titan Souls, which was a free game recently on PS Plus. What and is Titan Souls? Titan Souls is a. I want to say it's an 8-bit, maybe 16-bit, maybe 16-bit, 16-bit uh, version or type of version like uh, Shadows of, Shadow of the Colossus. 
Oh, so, wow. So there are no enemies. They're just bosses. <laughs> oh, okay. And you're basically, uh, and all you are armed with is a bow and one arrow. And all you have to do is hit said boss right in the, right in the, the, the sweet spot. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And um, the problem is, boss, they're huge and they don't uh-huh. move, they don't move, you know. So you mean one arrow? So, one arrow. So you, do you need to shoot it and then <laughs> go retrieve go it? Go retrieve it or there's a way of having it come to you as well. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> but wow. you have to be standing still to kind of almost like a force, force oh, hand. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, like a... Uh, like a force... Uh, yeah, like a force gimme. Yeah, yeah exactly. Force, so. push, not force, but if you're... Force pull. Hey, the moment you move to uh-huh. run, then you stop pulling. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, okay. Wow. So and you have to be dodging. Yes. Because the thing is big and it moves around quick. Wow. Um... So I'm already, dude, it took me like, I don't know how many there are, um, but it took maybe 20 minutes and I already taken down four of them. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. One of them was giving me a little bit of trouble. Mm-hmm. It was like this huge water ball and in the middle of the water ball was a heart. And mm-hmm. obviously you want, you, uh, each arrow hit splits the, the thing up uh-huh. and it becomes smaller and smaller until it's just a heart jumping around mm-hmm. and then you hit the heart. But in the meantime, you have a bunch of water ball. <laughs> oh, know? trying to yeah, get so, you. Um, it's one hit kill, too. So if you get hit oh, once, you're Jesus. dead. <laughs> no way. No. Um, uh, how, how did you get interested on this? Because. Was it on a sale? <laughs> well, I was interested in before. It was one of the uh, uh, PlayStation Plus like little titles that they had going. I think summer, summer or spring fever games. And I uh, never bought it. But uh, now that it came free on PS Plus, I was like, okay, let me try it. And uh, I like it so far. I'm um, stuck on one per, a particular mm. Titan, so that's why I kind of moved on and tried something else. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. Are you trying to ape me? Uh, no, 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 no. Just You, <laughs> you know. normally stick to a game I until do. you beat it. Yeah, I do. But uh, I wanted to try this one, too, because this one I've, I've been eyeballing. This is, by the way, Titan Souls is a Devolver Digital. Uh, oh, <laughs> that explains. That. Okay, that yeah. you should have started with that. Okay, and another devolver digi- di- digital joint. Uh, wow, ro- uh, Ronin. Speaking of forty-seven Speaking of Ronin, 47 Ronin. <laughs> run- one Ronin, well, just one Ronin. Um, <laughs> this one here is again devolver digital, and uh, what it is is a side-scrolling action turn-based <laughs> uh, game. Action, it is weird turn-based. Visual novel. <laughs> it could be a visual novel, dating too. Dating sim. And, uh, no dating sims. Uh, <laughs> so, basically, what it is, you play as a, uh, you want to say a ninja, I guess. He's wearing, he or she, because I don't know if uh, you can't tell, is wearing a... Um, Pixelated sex. <laughs> mo- motorcycle motorcycle jumpsuit mm. and a motorcycle helmet. And oh, you're carrying a sword. Yes, <laughs> I remember this. I remember seeing this game and... I, I think I told you he gave me a kill bill. Kill bill. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the difference is you move around pretty well in in the side scrolling, but the moment you you're spotted or you're into action, it jumps into to a turn base mm-hmm. uh, type of thing. And again, like more, XCOM, like similar to XCOM. Oh, okay. Um, the thing is, there's no tutorial, which is good. I'm all right with, mm. but at the same time, there's a learning curve. So you yeah. start figuring out, okay, this character. When he makes a move, he's going to make a move for two of my moves. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, he's got a machine gun. So, for my next two moves, he wherever he's pointing that machine gun, it's, it's going to just be spraying in that direction. But this is still look, looking <clears throat> from, side, from scrolling. The side scrolling? It's still side scrolling, yeah. No. The whole time. Wow, okay. So, um, it's it's pretty good. I'm going to put some video up on there. But it's frustrating, dude. Yeah. Because you, you make a jump, like, in, in, in the, uh, there's like this, uh, almost like an arc. To mm-hmm. let you know how you're going to jump, if it's completely white the arc, then that means by the end of the turn you're going to be on the your turn will end with you on the floor. Uh-huh. Um, if it's white and then the other half is red, meaning your turn is going to end and you're still going to be in the air. Oh, so you have to kind of, wow. and that's actually a good thing because yeah. that's how you plan out sometimes to to, to take uh, some people down. Oh you know? wow! But the problem with that is they are constantly aiming at you. So the moment mm-hmm. you get into the air, now you have a bunch of laser lights for yeah. forcing <laughs> your way. <laughs> and you can't control your your landing. Uh-huh. So you got to make sure that's where you want to land when that turns once over. You, once you jump, you <laughs> commit to it. You commit to it. Now, you can. There's a way, that you, like almost like a grappling hook that you can use to kind of back up. Uh-huh. But all it does is make a swing. So sometimes that helps. Sometimes that this screws is... you up even more. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, uh, is it's, it one-hit kill? It's also one-hit kill, yes. Jesus, wow. <laughs> that, uh, 
Yeah, that's a trend with developer digital games, apparently. That or uh, roguelites. They love freaking roguelites. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, because I, I was playing a little bit also of uh, Hala Miami because I want to finish it so I could get into two because I never played the second one. Oh, two is so good. And uh, I heard. Yeah, I heard it, it's hard as balls, too. It is. It's harder than the first one. So, so yeah. <laughs> it's like the difficulty level doesn't backtrack. It's like, okay, you finish the first one? All right, so <laughs> this one picks up right there. <laughs> now Go. we're going to put you through the grinder. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So these games are good, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's it takes, you know, you, you got to be okay with uh, with difficulty. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I do. I enjoy them. You know, they're not long. It, I can tell it's not a long game. The problem um, I have with difficulty lately is that... I don't know, man. I I, I, f- I feel like they just leave me to leave the game faster. I I don't have the I I don't want to say I don't have the patience for them any uh, for them anymore. Like say XCOM, I I love XCOM one, XCOM two. I want to play it and and I, and I try I go on it and I enjoy it, but then it becomes so frustratingly difficult. Like it it tries to put the odds against you so hard that you just you know, you just lose interest, and 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 there's another game, uh, Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, man, that another. game looks amazing, and 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 the gameplay is it's it's very fun until it gets difficult, and then when it gets hard, it's almost <laughs> impenetrable. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah, and, yeah. And I realize people enjoy these games, and I'm not advocating to dumb, you know, dumbing down games. That's not <laughs> what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say. To you, strike you've, a balance. To me, it should be it, uh, it should be a balance. You know, if you make it very very hard, I understand. Again, there's some people that like that. Make a level for them. You know, make, make a separate, like, uh, the hard difficulty <laughs> should think, be the harder. I think the better way would uh-huh. be to make a level for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those games were meant Bring to be. Bring it down. Yeah. yeah I can, you know, I, there's there's something on me that I cannot put, the ga- put a game on easy mode. Oh. Okay. If not even if I just want to see the story. Well, then, uh, I can't. can't there's play. something in me. It's like, No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way the game is meant to be played. It has, the same thing happens with... And freaking Gears of War does this. Uh, it, it shows you normal difficulty. And then it says, hard difficulty. This is the way the game is meant to be played. And I'm like, oh, shit. What do you have to say that? Now I have to play <laughs> it hard. Now I have to play it hard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, these are difficult. But I enjoy them. Um, I'm going to put some... Uh, some video up so you guys can take it out uh check it out excuse me and uh finally i just saw a movie yesterday i was gonna talk about something else but i'll, I'll bring up the movie yesterday because i kind of enjoyed it which one uh the magnificent seven. Oh, you was oh wait haven't you seen that already the no no i haven't seen it. this is the my first time seven? i haven't even seen the original from like the 50s 60s i know we talked about it but okay so you so the how magnificent I, seven? No. well i mean we, we mentioned it maybe or maybe when we were comparing it to the ridiculous six. Oh yes, that's, that's what, what it was. was. <laughs> the, oh, that because you had the you have the ridiculous six, the oh. magnificent seven, and the hateful eight. And the hateful eight. <laughs> so <laughs> Quentin Tarantino's the hateful eight. I did see, and that's I think that's what we were talking about. That's the one we were talking about, probably. Yeah. So um, I never I saw the ridiculous six too, which is ridiculous. It's so. ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but no, the Mag- magnificent seven. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got Denzel Washington in it. Um, mm. Chris Pratt. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you know these guys. Well, I know you know yeah. Denzel, but yeah. Chris Pratt, uh, who's Star Lord, and Star Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's got a couple of the people in, it and it's it's uh, really good. It's it's an old story. It's been told actually. The original story, believe it or not, is a Japanese uh, story called Seven Samurai, uh, which is mm-hmm. essentially a uh, there is, and I guess it's a village or a town or whatever, depending on you know the version you listen to, is being terrorized by a. You know, either a lord, or in this case, it's this guy who owns a company, and he's trying to buy land, and he's doing it by force, killing people, blah, blah, blah. Dude, that's Yakuza. <laughs> that is that is Yakuza right now. <laughs> that is Yakuza. Spoilers of the first, you know, 15 minutes of the game. <laughs> That's actually what's happening. <laughs> That's literally what's happening. Well, then, very similar to that. <laughs> uh, the diff- well, I mean, the, what happens is the town mm-hmm. or the village, again, depending on what you go to, they, they are tired of it. They go to a hero mm-hmm. or so, who, who they think could be someone who can help them. Mm-hmm. And little by little, they, they gather people, different uh-huh. people. Uh, in this one, it's Denzel Washington. He is a... Uh, He's not a, a bounty hunter, but he's 
he he's a government guy who 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 basically searches for wanted people. Mm. Anyway, so they ask him to help out. He ends up recruiting Chris Pratt, which is this drunk dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They I seen recruit, the, yeah. I seen the, the trailer. It yeah. looks really good. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it, it, it's it's really good. Don't get mm. me wrong. The action is great. Um, the characters are great. Um, some of the small sides of it is that there's a lot of characters. So and it's only two hours. So you got a lot of. Mm. You know, they're yeah. filling in gaps, usually during times that don't make sense. But at the same mm. time, it's like, okay, well, I want to know more about him. So, yeah. you know, when they make a joke in the middle of a battle, it's like, well, who does this? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. but at the same time, it's his character. And I, I want more from him anyway. Chris Pratt, dude, had me in tears, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had quite literally in tears laughing with, uh, <laughs> with the stupid stuff he was saying. Um but it's great, and uh, definitely recommend that. Um, and that's that's what I. All just right, said. I'm yeah. gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check it out. I never saw the original. No, and I still haven't seen Seven Samurai either, which I have on my uh, IMD. No, yeah, my MDB list, mm. uh, which is again that's the original original story. They took that Hollywood took that and made the original Magnificent Seven with uh, Yul Brenner. This is in the '60s, I think it was, and then this is a remake of that one. So a remake of a remake. Yeah, yeah. Remake of a remake. All right, guys, so we're going to go in right into some news, and uh, I'm going to start with some gaming news, uh, as a matter of fact. Since Before we, we go into the politic news. The political stuff. Yeah, yes. political stuff. World news. World we'll, news. We'll skip the world news for today. Maybe. What's the guy's name? Richard Jennings? This just in. <laughs> it's cold as fuck in Florida. <laughs> it sure is. The world is ending. <laughs> news at 11. Uh, no, so starting with uh, Strafe, which I just uh, showed up to. I like, literally, <laughs> where has this game been in my life? I don't know. Where do you look, bro? Uh, I, I don't know, but this game looks amazing. It is the most amazing graphics <laughs> that I have seen in 1996. <laughs> yes, even 96 didn't have graphics like that. Oh my god, this game is so good. So tell me about Strafe, bro. Strife is a nostalgic shooter, my friend. Uh, very, I mean, it is literally a, a Doom slash Quake uh, love letter. That's actually why they gave me it what gave me yeah. Life. Quake. Yes, definitely. And uh, Quake was one of my favorite games of that era. So, and yes. it looks just like it. It plays just like it's got the the really nineties look to it, and I, I'm I'm digging it. He had it, it, it was funny because he had. It almost had the Halo 1 colors uh, mixed with uh, Doom graphics and Quake feel. Yeah, speed, right? The speed <laughs> of Quake, speed. yeah. Yeah, yes. Yes, it looked really good. Well, it gets a, uh, it has a release date. Oh, because that trailer uh, says coming early 2017. Well, this is still, tw- we're still there, so. And it's available right now. No, no. <laughs> it's not going to be that. <laughs> no, unfortunately. March 28th. March 28th? March 28th, it oh, will come out. Man. Coming to PS4 and PC. Nice. Sorry, Xbox guys. Uh, wah, wah. It, it, uh, you know, you never know. It may, may actually make it over at some point. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to that one. Another Devolver G- Digital join. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Volvo Digital, dude. I love them. Ever well. since Hotline Miami, dude, they have they, they the, have my heart, and they have not let it go. They have they they have a particular style. They yeah, do. They 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 have a, a very brutal style, and this game looks brutal. This uh, game looks. Talos um, Principle, if I'm not mistaken, is also a Devolver Digital production. Uh, develop, develop. No, not develop. Uh, produced. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, or oh, published. Excuse me. Published. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pu- published. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Now Talos Principle is a completely on oh, a completely yeah. opposite yeah. end. Yeah. That's all. Talos Principle other. is a religious experience. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is good. Yeah. yeah gotta, which is good. You yeah. gotta have a little bit of religion yeah, along you with have you. Yeah. You have spirituality. You know. Exactly. You gotta put a little spiritual, bit of that, but not religious. A little bit of blood and guts. <laughs> a little bit of spiritual. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> everything, everything goes hand in hand. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, another game coming out. Uh, which, believe it or not, I, I'm a little bit shocked that it's coming out this soon. Prey got a new trailer and a release date. May uh, 5th. May 5th for May Prey 5th? 2? For Prey. It's just oh, Prey. Oh, that's yeah. just Prey, yeah. <laughs> it's just Prey. It's just Prey. Uh, and uh, it's coming to PC, Xbox, and PS4. May 5th. Uh, I got to uh, tell you, I'm a little shocked it's, it's that soon. 
But at the same time, I'm liking what Bethesda is doing here. Mm. And I know that that sentence is hard for me to say, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I like, like what Bethesda is doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're saying it through yeah. your teeth. <laughs> Grit. <Grinning. laughs> <laughs> no, but what they, they would show you something on a game and then release it shortly thereafter. And I think it all started... Um, Recently with um, Fallout 4. With Fallout 4? Fallout 4 was shown off at E3. Mm -hmm. That same year it came out. Came oh, out okay. November. That, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not a lot of this showing you and then showing you and then showing you. And years pass. And at that point, you're like, I don't give uh, shit about think, this game anymore. You would think they learned their lesson after Prey 2 was seen on that, two, on that uh, E3 like years and years ago. And it looked rad, and then we heard nothing about it. Yeah. And this is, but not by it. that time, I don't think it was Bethesda, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I think no. Bethesda got the uh, the, the right. license or something yeah. like that. So yeah, May fifth, pray. Uh, we're gonna pray that it's good. That's good. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I so far they have nailed it with their releases, Bethesda. I mean, mm -hmm. so definitely. So yeah, I mean, I, got um, this is also from Arcane Studios, which just did. Um, Dishonor, Dishonor, yeah, yes. and uh, so I mean, and it looks, and, and, it looks good. yeah, Dishonor. You got Doom. You got you know what else in Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Mm -hmm. So Fallout, so yeah, I have Fallout. yeah, of course. Uh, so I have high hopes for it. Uh, I'm gonna wait though because the like I don't know how tied is this to the original parade. So not at all. I this think is by like, name only, dude. I really name only. Yeah, I really think it's just a complete new. Because I did game. not like I did not like the ori the original Prey. Uh, at least the theme of it. It was it was weird. It was a weird game. I think I really don't think it's tied to anything on there. Oh, okay, maybe maybe you'll they'll like throw in some sort of uh, connection just to make a yeah. connection or something like that. But I don't think it's going to be. I I don't think it's tied to it, which yeah. I'm fine with. You know, yeah, yeah, none yeah, of that yeah, baggage yeah, from before. That's fine. Um, next piece of news: uh, Square Enix and Marvel Studios. What assembled? Assemble. <laughs> yes. Uh, apparently, they form are of form of a bucket of water. <laughs> no, the uh, they're gonna have they have a multi game partnership. Um, mm. So they released this trailer, which it kind of frustrated me a little bit because I saw I follow Marvel on YouTube and it gives you this thing where like look forward to us on Thursday the 26th we got an announcement at noon and I'm like yes this is it this is gonna be the Infinity Wars it's, it, it's on you know or Black Panther or something you know for the film side and then it, then it's, the moment it starts it's like oh it's gonna happen it's gonna and then Square Enix like wow <laughs> like son of a okay and then you know after a while I'm like okay now that I know it's a game, <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, I am, I am a little more excited for it, you know. But I was a little disappointed at first. I thought it had to do with the movie, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it is. Or a game in the in the Square Enix style of CG, in the high CGI. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I don't think I want that for for this one, dude. You still and need that to, will take forever if they do. That, that. will take forever. Yeah, yeah. But you still need to watch uh, uh, Final Fantasy 15 uh, movie. Mm -hmm. That I plan to, yeah, yeah. Uh, Damn it. Kingsclave. Oh, Kingsclave. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That movie is pretty rad. Okay. You know, for that type of movie. I don't want to overset it again. <laughs> you keep <laughs> I'm just saying, saying that. You know, yeah. It's so good, but it's for that kind for of movie. That, for that kind of for CGI movie, it's, it's, it's stupendous. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's a multi-game partnership. Now, here is here's a good thing. Mm. One, it's Square Enix. Okay. And Square Enix, you know, you have a good Square Enix. You got a bad Square Enix. Lately, it's been more good Square Enix. Lately, yeah. Okay, so, I would say, so yeah. I would say, Lara Croft, what? Hitman, correct. Uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Seven, uh, Fifteen. Oh, oh, 15. 15. We don't know about Seven yet. Yeah. Uh, so it's good that they've partnered with a big uh, publisher. Of course, this is Disney partner. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this yeah. is their saying. We're not doing Disney Interactive. It's yeah, gone. They don't want another game. Here's the licenses, guys. Do what you want with them. But, you know, make it good. Yeah. Um, that's a good thing because Disney doesn't. They they want to make sure things are good, which yeah. is fine. Um, the bad thing is multi game partnership makes me think, and then it's like you see the trailer where it's like okay, there's the individual characters. You can see the shield for Captain America, uh, Iron Man's right hand, and all this. And I'm like, okay, what are they doing here? I'm wondering, and I'm not sure if they're going to do this. I'm wondering if these are going to be one offs to oh an eventual to, to an eventual oh, oh, assembled no. <laughs> <laughs> similar to the movies and then I'm gonna be like okay now this is getting a little ridiculous. You know what? There's a part of me that yeah th th there is a part of me that goes cynical immediately like oh mm -hmm. of course they're gonna do that. 
But then there's another side of me that thought the things you know that could be pretty cool because it, I mean, that will assure right. you of having yeah, yeah. Uh, of having a, a different you know game uh, and then yeah at the end we'll have the assembled then what type one. of games we're looking at too I, I mean I hope it's I don't what's I don't the other want ones? brawlers uh, yeah the brawlers that they yeah, did before I'm like oh, Batman okay. has already I mean Batman's Batman and Batman's it was done it was perfected and then it was torn apart with the third yeah, one yeah but no, it's not gonna be it, it can't be that because ba- no. Batman is a brawler he, he yeah, himself yeah, Batman, is yeah, a fighter a, yeah. Yeah. these guys are superhuman, so it's like you don't really need to be brawling it's but, probably really cosmic us all hell what do you think was the uh, um, the other Marvel games they used to have the uh, it was like the top down who square no not square just the, the, all the Marvel games that they used uh-huh. to have um, Ultimate Alliance oh uh, Marvel, 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 Marvel I hope they move Marvel away from Ultimate that you know Alliance, I mean? yeah. yeah I hope they move away from that I hope no. those are good but well I heard yeah people like it people like yeah. that if you talk about the Diablo like style you know yeah exactly yeah. Mm-hmm. oh yeah no yeah. I'm down for, I'm down for that mm-hmm, I guess so yeah well, I mean what else could it could be I don't know that's why, because I mean, if it's not a brawler, it's not, if it's not, if, if it's not that type, you know, of Diablo style, uh, you know, game, gameplay. Mm, <laughs> I guess. I, mean, I don't want to, I don't want yeah. a Telltale type of game. No, I don't <laughs> want that either. Yeah. I don't yeah. want that. Also, what does this mean for X-Men? Because they don't seem to show any X-Men there. And the X-Men licenses that are restricted are the, uh, Movie ones, oh the, the movie. movie. So oh, is, you think, yeah. Well, do you think they could be? They, they could possibly make. You know, well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, put, I don't know uh, the put the universe are. together. I would like it. Yeah, at least to to put it back together. I mean, it would be nice. But we'll see. I yeah. mean, that's early. Dude. I, uh, they just literally announcing the partnership. That so is the partnership see a game like but twenty nineteen? Uh, are they are they are getting the licenses for the cinematic uh, universe, or know. is it just the they haven't know, gone into detail? General? They literally just dropped that, you know, less than a minute trailer and left everybody with questions. Dude, I wonder <laughs> if they could take the, like, the, I, I saw the other day and I realized this is DC, but uh, the Injustice 2 game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, it's no, like it's their really own good. take. It's, it's, it's uh, NetherRealm's own take on the, on the superheroes. And so far they're doing better than uh, Warner Brothers. <laughs> but, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that goes yeah. without saying. Yeah. So, so that game has, has me interested, you know, mm-hmm. to say the least. Keep an eye and I'm not a comic guy, a comic guy, but I could, you know, I could see a good storyline. Yeah. Keep an eye on that one as well. Uh, Bioware has shown Bioware. off their new cinematic trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda, and introduces a villain, which I'm cool to see a villain, but. The villain again looks like this big monstrous dude. Oh, again. it's gonna be another. Oh, this is gonna be another. And I guess it's within the same world. But, you know, obviously you can always have that. But I, I will say one thing: it looks like Star Trek. If looks, we it, we spoke it, about it. it. Looks and feels like they are. You know, yeah, venturing that, that out new nun shepherd yes. guy, whatever his name yes. is. I know he was this close. He uh, he gives me a James C. Kirk vibe. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of disappointed to see him being a feature because I thought, yeah, I thought it was, I thought this was the main character on this one was going to be, uh, you know, a uh, she, and and then you have the option of making a he. But uh, so, so, so yeah, story, it's not really going to matter much anyway because even in the I mean, first your story, one, your story yeah, 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 so yeah, you think they're going to have the reversible covers again? I remember, I, I as if I had the, if you wanted a female shepherd to be a main flip character, around. you you flip around the yeah the the, the cover. The silly part that about it is, do you ever even show that case to anybody? <laughs> what, no, be the point. it's really just for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I was I, I like what I saw. You know, because it gave me that uh, Star Trek vibe. I was like, okay, yes, I'm down. This is a new story. Uh, it takes uh, it, it takes uh, effect years years whole, and years yeah. after the uh, protein yeah. thing, you know. Decades, I think, past that the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So so I'm looking for uh, you know this game, and hence the reason why I want to be clear of Final Fantasy 15. By, By that time, it's a lot of long ass games. Yeah. I'm going in. Yeah. So yeah. So take a look at that. It's on. I will again post it on the uh, on the uh, on the group. Uh, a couple things I want to bring up, which I didn't tell you about, but I just saw like today. Okay, it's this weekend, so hopefully I can get this up video, of this uh, podcast up today, so you guys can hear about it today. Uh, PlayStation ha- uh, Plus, oh, well, PlayStation 
uh, network has a sale, the Essentials sale. Mm-hmm. But if you're a PlayStation Plus member, there's a nice little bonus. Two games that I saw there for you. Shit, I don't. I'm not a PlayStation Plus, Plus member. Oh, no, no, I I well, let my not for I let mine laps <laughs> for 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 people who 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 might have it. Not I for think, you. I think for you, people. No, I think you may have these two games. Oh. Axiom Verge is oh. free. What? <laughs> if you are a PS Plus member, whoa, it is free wow. right now. <laughs> okay. Free. <laughs> OMG. If it's that not, is a megaton. Yeah. If this game is fan fucking yeah, fantastic. It is. I looked at it, I was like, free? free. They gave this one for free. Good on Sony. Yeah. Now, see, Sony does they do know how to do this, you know, free, you know, free games. Very rarely they disappoint with what they have to offer. Yeah. You know, they, I, I think it was not too long ago they were well anyway. It, I'm, I'm thinking King Quest, but I think that was X, that might have been Xbox. I don't remember what what was the game last 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 uh, on December. Do you remember in the most recent games? Yeah. Uh, no, because I don't think I got any of them. All right. Well, maybe we don't remember. Oh, Titan Souls. Titan Souls are one. Oh one yeah, yeah, yeah. That Titan Souls, are, and you're enjoying that. Mm-hmm. You see, they 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 give good games. Uh, Microsoft. <laughs> Hit or miss, a lot of misses on oh, it. Oh, we're gonna get into their February ones in a minute. Okay, all right, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that, that we're gonna yeah. know. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, so Again. this is this is not even a regular thing. Yeah, and on top of that, you're gonna like this one for thirty dollars. Uh-huh. Titan uh, Titanfall two. Oh <laughs> yes, there was no one in the group asking uh, if they should get it for thirty bucks, and I was like, dude, just just do it. Yes, just do it. That is an amazing deal, mm-hmm. and for probably the, the one of the most amazing single player experience experiences that I've had in recent years. So those are two. I mean, there's more in there. Go and look because there's wait, a bunch. There's of, more. There's more in there, but those are the two that kind of stood out. The rest of them, I was like, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh, okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. not really focused. I got Axiom Verge uh, twice because I have on PC also. And yes, if you this is your opportunity, this is your chance. Mm-hmm. You Metroidvania should- at its best. Yes, yes. Go for more it. Metroid than anything else. By the way, go. <laughs> uh, so going into uh, February's Xbox Games with Gold, we've got four games listed here. I don't know what this is. You'll have to tell me. Maybe you know. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. What the fuck is that? I Come on, I, oh. I'm not sure what that is. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lovers in a dangerous time is a book i remember <laughs> but lo- book. lovers in a dangerous space time uh, uh, no yeah no, project no, cars no. is another one that's a great one Mon- if, if wait project <laughs> Cars is the free game for xbox yes that's a for all favorite. right mm-hmm. that's a hit that's a hit. that's a hit because that is a very very good uh simulation game mm-hmm. uh i bought it not too long ago uh last year on a sale, I think I spent twenty five bucks on it, uh, and it is, le- you know, it is legit. Legit. I- I'm trying to remember who was the who were the the developers because they did that was, if I remember correctly, uh, that was a crowdfunding campaign, and the game was in early access for for the for the longest time, looking pretty good. Slightly Mad Studios. Slightly Mad Studios. Yes. Let's okay. That, man. All right. So yeah, that, that's that's a pickup immediately. Yep, and uh, that's what the uh, Xbox One for Xbox 360, which of course is backwards compatible on Xbox One. You got Monkey Island 2, the special edition. That's good. Uh, and then you have Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That's not so good. <laughs> well, it's better than the second one, at least. <laughs> There's a, nah, it's no canon, I don't care. <laughs> I know, right? It, it has already been, yes. It doesn't even matter This anymore. is not how it happened. <laughs> Star Killer. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Well, there is. It was know, Rogue One eighty. You, you know, it was going to be Luke Starkiller. Luke Starkiller. Oh, it was the yeah. original name until they changed it to Skywalker. Skywalker. But yeah, what's the name of the in the Rogue One the, the girl? Forget her name. Forgettable Jin? character. Jin. Yeah, whatever. That, whatever. <laughs> stop hating on Rogue One. That's that's the uh, that that's how they happened. For those who don't know, Force Unleashed trying to establish how the Alliance got formed through this character. Uh, you didn't know. You never played it, right? I never played it well, spoiler. So basically, everything that happened in, in uh, this was Rogue a, One contradicts was, what happens here. Completely <laughs> in the. That's awesome. This was the this was Darth Vader's. Um, 
clone. Oh, not Darth Vader's clone. Sorry, uh, uh, a product of Darth Vader's experimentation with cloning, uh, and I, I, I don't remember much about the story. I know that, that he had a very weird way of hand, of holding the lightsaber, which I backwards, guess. Right? Uh, yeah, he yeah. was. Hold, yeah, he will hold it backwards. Like that's not. That's not. I've seen. Well, if you never Ninjas? seen the graphic. No, if you never seen the graphic novel Star Wars, there uh. were several that did that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. Well, it it, it it looked kind of funny. That, and I thought the game the the character was cool. You know, it was he was all right. It's just they rushed the second game, and the second game wasn't that great. And not that the first game was fantastic, but it was kind of cool to be. You know. <laughs> handling <Just> stone troopers <laughs> left and right, <laughs> cutting limbs and being all uh, badass. And badass. So, yeah, but nope, <laughs> that got <God>, retcon. <laughs> that never happened. Well, keeping it on the Star Wars uh, front here. Uh, on the, the last battle piece front? Of, yes, on the battlefront. Last piece of news I have here is uh, I'm sure you've, most of you have already seen Star Wars. The episode eight episode has been eight. named. Yeah, yes. The Last Jedi. Woo! Star Wars, The Last Jedi. What did they do to my logo? Why is it red? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, why is it red? It represents the blood. Does it? The blood of Jedi or Jedi says Jedi Jed Jed Jedi. Jedi. Just Jedi. Je- Jedi says Jedi says <laughs> <laughs> Jedi as Jedos. apparently. It's being like shown everywhere now that Jedi is the plural for Jedi. So, what does that mean? What does the last Jedi mean? Well, is it the last of the group? Is it the? Is it Luke? <laughs> <laughs> you know, is it? Uh, are there more out there, and they're the last <laughs> of them? You know, what I mean? because um, he was training some people. You know, wow. but he had a little, he had a little school going, and then uh, Kylo Ren came in and you know fucked shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kylo, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. What do you think of this uh, title? What do you think it's going to mean? Do you I, think it's uh, going to, to the dark side? <laughs> I like it. Well, if anything, you should be giving us a, a darker uh, Star Wars, you know. Feel? Mm-hmm. feel yeah, yeah, yeah. Which definitely. I'm totally up for it. The Of course, they have to have their Empire Strike Back moment because this is the middle of the of the trilogy. So it That's is the reason why I always say that the middle chapter of the trilogy is no, almost sir. always the you, best. Uh, you, I, used to, <laughs> I used to have your opinion like oh. very high esteem until you started spewing out <laughs> you know, that Rogue One somehow is the best Star Wars movie. I did not say that. Uh, or the second best Star Wars movie. And I did say that. I was like, <laughs> what? It, 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 I can't. I don't even know what where I live anymore. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel you. I feel but, you. But 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 if anything, this movie it, it, it has me interested in, in what's going to happen. And I know a lot of people are throwing the obvious, like, "Oh, that that means you know Luke is gonna die," and you know on this one. And yeah, but even if if even if that happens, I don't think that's gonna be the main 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 thing of this movie. Uh, I definitely there's a conflict. There's there's an inner conflict of, Ky- of with Kylo Ren that mm-hmm. I'm interested in exploring. I'm interested in them exploring, and it was kind of cool to see that they changed the logo uh, color for the first time. You know, it doesn't have that particular yellow or gold or yellow gold mm-hmm. whatever it is. Uh, so it must represent something. <laughs> I immediately thought of. What a dark ball up here! Oh, God. <laughs> because it's red. <laughs> because it's you know? red, yeah. Because it's crimson red. Well, let's. Uh, it is crimson red. So, uh, is it crimson? <laughs> no, but I was just gonna show you this. I mean, it's kind of funny. Oh I'm yeah, yeah it. they put the. Oh, the, this is guessing what the ninth one is, right? Yeah, guessing <laughs> what the ninth one is. You wanna describe it better? Uh, yeah, basically, it's the three. Star well, Wars logos. Three Star Wars logos for that. You got the Force Awakens. Then you have now that we know that uh, it's The Last Jedi. And they're ga- guessing that the third one will be in blue instead <laughs> of red. And it will be from his nap. Yeah. <laughs> so when you put it together, <laughs> it reads The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi from his nap. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. So here's what we do know. Mm. Uh, one. And this has been confirmed by Ryan Johnson, the director. It will f- heavily feature Luke uh, in the in the movie, so he's going to be an integral part of this particular chapter. All right, I'm done with that. Uh, it also will explain what we're going to find out about Ray's family. I don't oh, think, okay. and I still am on the fence that she is not in any way related to Skywalker. 
No, thank goodness. And I, yeah, this is me. They haven't said that. Well, well this is me. the fact <laughs> that there ain't. Yeah, let's just yeah, let's not relate everybody in the universe, people. She's related to R two D two. I know that. <laughs> She's an android. Well, that's why they. You know, she was a clone gonna... made by the Empire by oh, so Darth then, Vader. Uh, so then the little she's Star Killer. The little ball droid is what her baby. Her baby. Yes. <laughs> well, BB. BB. Oh, that's for baby. Oh, shit. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's how we figure shit out right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll see what happens there. I am. Ex- I'm more excited about it now than I was before, and I can't so wait. Surprised it hasn't been a teaser. Do you, do, do you should have expected a teaser by now? Maybe not. Uh. Well, I mean, by n- at this point, for the Force Awakens, mm-hmm. at this point, we had already seen a teaser. Oh, okay. So, so this should be coming soon. Then it should Very be. Soon. My understanding is they're not expected to do anything in the spring until until the spring. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. So. Maybe not too soon. Mm-hmm. I, also, I think what they want to do is, I was reading this somewhere, what they want to do is not, because uh, the Rogue One is still in the theaters. It's already surpassed a billion dollars. Oh, that's true. And yeah. they're not trying to in any way step on that. Yeah. You know, like, you know what? Let it grow. Let it, the tails, you know, get as long as possible. Yeah, yeah. And then once we have a nice little lull, here's episode eight. Yeah. I just want to clarify. I did enjoy Rogue One. I'm not <laughs> I'm not Whatever. in any way hating on it. It's just I don't think it's uh, I don't think I'm putting it on position number 2. <laughs> <laughs> that game it, that that game. That movie is better than the prequels and that's the position they should be. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Just that's like it. that. All right. Last piece of news I have. Project Scorpio Oh, oh, snap a ruse. That's uh, a Nintendo Switch 2, right? Uh, no, no, not no. even a little. That's gonna be Xbox Five. Oh, that's right. Yes, it's a full blown next gen machine, says a Xbox developer. <laughs> oh, I don't think they're uh, they're marketing it that way, but according to the, the by the specs, it's almost as if you know, it's mm-hmm. almost what you wish. The well, not you. I know you personally wouldn't have cared about Sony doing this, but if Sony was gonna do a pro, they should have actually had like a, a little bit of a leap, a, a bigger leap, but without abandoning the the the, the current, current games. Gen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the current gen games. So this this one almost feels like Xbox saying, "Okay, Xbox, Xbox, is making oh, Xbox the leap. One." Yeah. Mm-hmm was a failure well i don't think it's a failure it definitely wasn't what they were wanting yeah no um, that, well i don't think it's a fa- i mean it's still selling okay no, but, I mean, they're in the no, 35 no, no. It, million it, it which is which is still more than the xbox 360 is, but it's at this time not, it is but it's it's not number one by any stretch no and it's not even closer you know closer the only reason it's number two is because Poor Nintendo. We is, we is gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So and and it gets its ass beat on all multiplayer, uh, multi uh, games that come out on, on multi console games, multi console games, uh, third party games. Uh, for some reason, they can't get their yeah. games to run well enough on it, and the they're on the power. Yeah, no, I mean it is on the power, but they're also making. Let's be real, they're also mm-hmm. making. Uh, all right, so people aren't buying their it, console. This console for their for their original. Unlike Nintendo, well, they don't have. They're to not now. selling it. PC, you can get it on PC. Well, well that's that, the point. Well, that's that, yeah, that's what so, I feel yeah. like. I feel like this is a move. Well, we gotta sell our exclusives somewhere because they're not moving on the console, you know. And that's how they make their money off of the games, yeah, you know, more I than the it. hardware. So I think I think this is a fa- I think this is Microsoft recognizing, uh, yeah, this console is a failure. We need to. We need to double down, and they literally did. I mean, and and some might much, argue yeah. a little bit too, too much. much. Yeah, yeah, they, they <laughs> over over jumped the uh, yeah uh, yeah the exactly. thing. I, I I would probably argue that. Um, they went on a uh, record here. Well, uh, actually, the creator of Ori, the Blind Forest, Thomas Mahler, went on record saying Scorpio isn't just a half-ass upgrade. Not Whoa, really. Not really pointing to PS wow. Pro. Uh, but Shots fired. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't say PS4 Pro, but no. <laughs> obviously, you know, what else could he be referring to? Ah, the Switch. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that damn Switch. But a full blown next gen uh, machine uh, that's also going to, of course, be backwards compatible with the current library. Now, here's the deal: in order for it to move units, mm-hmm. the uh, Scorpio mm. needs to have exclusives. Exclusives mm. that you're only going to be able to play on the on the console because if that's mm. not there. Why buy it? Because if you can play the game, game better? 
and 4K. I don't know. I'm just saying. You have. The, I know. I know. You, know, you give, yeah. you're giving examples, but you have the slim. First of all, we don't mm-hmm. know what the price mm-hmm. is going to be, and I, 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 I really don't think it's going to be less than five ninety nine. A uh, four ninety nine, excuse me. Four ninety nine. Um, yeah, I think it may be more than that, but I don't think it's going to be less than that. <laughs> uh, I don't think they could get away with. Yeah. You know what? Even five hundred ninety nine US dollars. They, I mean, five hundred ninety nine US dollars. They are dead. They are. Microsoft might as well just give <laughs> their credit card and retire. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and we'll just see. dedicate to Windows ten. Uh, on 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 four on four ninety um. Three ninety nine, no wait. Three ninety nine. Four ninety nine. It is, it's, dude. It is still ridiculous. They will have. To They're going to be definitely taking. make be, their yeah. case hardcore. Well, here's the deal. Then you're going to be taking. A, that's another thing. If it's let's say they do four ninety nine, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so you sell at a four ninety nine. You're most likely most likely selling it at a severe loss. Mm. We all know you make the you make the uh, money back on games. If the games that are on it, on that unit are also available on Xbox One, why would anybody jump to the Scorpio? Other than the fact that, yes, it runs better. But yeah. if that means you're going to have to buy the console at 500 bucks just to play this game, mm-hmm. which is 60 bucks, that you can play on your Xbox One you already have. Mm. Is it that – does the – Graphical fidelity <laughs> that important to spend another five hundred bucks on only 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 for the have, elite only, only for the elite and and yeah and and the elite will probably have bought a four K TV four uh, K TV let's face it if you have a four K no, TV the elite will you're actually gonna want to the elite will already have a PC that this game will probably also uh, be available no, I'm on. I'm saying yeah I, I, yeah I, I get that but if you want to play console games because mm-hmm. I I consider myself a PC you know a, a PC gamer. Mm-hmm. Um and but I still I I, I don't want to abandon my you know the console. Of course, you, know, you saw me suffering. You're like, oh man, I wish I could be playing this right now. And mm-hmm. and uh, now let's say I have a 4K TV, I'm gonna pare it down with a 4K unit. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, that could deliver that level of gaming, not just movies, not just the slim. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know that said. The 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 proposition at four ninety nine it is it is yeah it put it doesn't it doesn't put them in a very good position. It may it may not. We don't know. The market yeah. may go any which way, and either which way. I'm, I'm ho- I hope it does. You know, I hope it, now, again. I don't we still believe want the. Uh, I, w- I still want that competition to continue. Yeah, between yeah. the two, and I don't want it to just suddenly go. You know, oh, now that's again. that said. I don't believe. That I don't believe that they're gonna they're gonna be um, uh, I don't believe that they are losing that much money on what on the on the console itself. Well, I mean on the on the on the on per, per unit, I don't think they're they're selling it at a great great loss because but still by loss. then no, yeah, no, yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah they're not selling it at value. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Still, a loss is a loss no matter what. And the yeah. more you add up, the more you sell, the more you're losing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even if you're losing 100 bucks, if it's valued at 600, you're selling it at 500. Mm. You're still losing 100 bucks per unit. That's true. And yeah. if there's no units moving, then you are lost even more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because so it's, it's just bigger. 600 bucks sitting on the, on, the, on, the, on the shelf. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still curious. Uh, I actually can't wait now for E3. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can't wait. Yeah. So please be excited for E3. Be excited for E3. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, and we're back. I can do the Casio uh, demo. You remember those keyboard, those Casio oh, keyboards? Oh yes. <laughs> you press it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that the one that Ross used? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You press, you can make those uh, those keys play all sorts of things. But he also ha- always had the demo button that you will pre- that you will press in the start. So we're gonna change our intro into that. It's gonna be the Casio <laughs> the intro. The Casio intro? Yes. No, no, that may be copyrighted somewhere. <laughs> oh, shucks. But uh, do you ever own a Casio? 
I always wanted one because I, I always wanted to. I you did. I had a small one, not not the real big. Those big like big <laughs> you mean ones. the little the little white the, one. It was a no. It wasn't white. It was black, but it was uh it was regulation gosh, size. Maybe I don't know. It I was, it was like a little longer than a keyboard. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? That's about about uh, this. But it was pretty good. You had you, you had a, a synthesizer then. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps <laughs> it was. I mean, damn. I always wanted to to own one because I wanted to learn how to play the piano because the, the piano is my favorite instrument. Uh, even though I don't know how to play it, the piano. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh, but I always wanted like one of those, at least the little ones. Uh, and I remember we were going to talk about the uh, the the, the um, uh, games and consoles that we used to uh, mm-hmm. own. Uh, the Commodore 64 used to have a program that you could like you can buy this thing there's this black plastic thing that you will put over the keyboard and it'll be like like a piano keyboard but then in reality whenever you press it it'll press a letter a particular letter on on your regular you know keyboard keyboard mm-hmm. and 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 I would make music with that on the Commodore sixty four, or oh, okay. try to. You know, I'll make noise. I'll, That's I'll different. Yeah, I, didn't, noise. I didn't know anything about that. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's That's actually, almost like uh, right now they have the guitar one. What's that? The guitar. What the oh the the ones that they use right now to learn yeah the what guitar? is that called I forgot the name of it but yeah uh, it's uh no, it's not Guitar Hero <laughs> no it's not Guitar Hero it's definitely not Guitar Hero it is Goldsmith. Yeah, yeah. Guitar Smith, Guitar Smith, Smith. Yeah, Guitar yeah. Smith. Yeah, 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 that one. Um, and Nintendo, uh, eight, the original Nintendo used to have a a keyboard. I mean, a third party um, uh, adapt uh, peripheral mm-hmm. that was also a keyboard. Oh, and used to have the, like, N- the NES. The NES, yeah, oh. yeah. And you would put the you know the game. I mean, the games were really stupid <laughs> <laughs> for the thing, but it was. I don't know. Back it's, in the day, it's the eight bit days. I mean, that much was you know. Yeah, trying to extract music out of that um, <laughs> cheap, uh, you know, sound chip. The sound chip, yes, yeah. yes. Well, if you haven't uh, already figured, we're into the hot topic of the week. Hot topic of the week. Yes. This hot topic. Uh, I don't is know why it came spooky. <laughs> <laughs> It's dear to me because uh, when you look back at your history as a gamer, you know, it's especially for me, you know, and you as well, because you were about the same age as me. Mm-hmm. It's a long road. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah a long we road. have. I mean, I wouldn't say it was like I, I, I didn't play original Pong, <laughs> not that old, but I remember Atari 2600. I remember playing Pong. I just don't know what it was. It may have been on the, on the Atari, so it wasn't like it's, the real it was, Pong. It was yeah. definitely yeah. It was the Atari because I saw the Pong machine. The like what it used was, to be, yeah. and yeah, that thing looked like something. I, well, I was gonna say something out of the seventies. Well, of course, it was from the seventies, <laughs> but he definitely had that Good that guess. look. <laughs> yeah, if I had to guess, I would yeah. guess Pong was somewhere Seven in the seventies. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Uh, so where did where did it all start? So well, I'm gonna start with you, sir. Where did it all start? What was your first? Uh, was it PC? Was it like that early? No, PC, actually, or? actually, my dad bought me a uh, Atari twenty six hundred. Nice. And uh, and it had Pac Man Combat, and I think Ooh. those were the two. I don't remember. Oh god, that no! Pac-Man, that Pac-Man I had another was... Yards Revenge. Oh, so wow. so yeah. Oh, so okay. it had. So yeah, he vindicated himself with <laughs> Yards Revenge. <laughs> okay, because man, let me tell you, uh, Pac Man and Co- Combat was fun. You know, a two player game. Yeah, I'll play with Which my one was Combat? Combat was the one that it was the packing basically. It was the it all had the tanks. Yeah, yeah. the tanks. The that tanks. was good. That was good. And and yeah, and it had like a bunch of forms, a, a, a bunch of um, uh, levels, level mm-hmm. or or yeah, yeah, like different types of backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. So so you could be planes, you could be biplanes. Yes. you could be dude, like I a bomber. That. It was. He had a yeah. He had it a was. lot of levels for it. It was yeah. kind of amazing. And and a lot of different gameplay types. Also, you know, your bullets could ricochet and hit the other. That was my favorite. It had invisible tanks. I remember I, that's where pretty much where I started at. And I had the um, I had I had that one. Obviously, it was a pack in. Mm-hmm. I never had Pac Man. Uh, I never had Pitfall either. Never had those like no, big big ones. Uh, but I did have this one. I think it's called Gunfighter. Where or yeah, it was uh, these two guys that were in. Um, 
cowboy hats, you know, and they were on the no. side. And you basically you hit a button and you you shoot, and then the bullet will just travel across the screen to the other guy, and he'd have to have move out of the way, or you know, dodge it, a bullet. Yeah, yeah, basically dodge oh, a bullet, wow. and then he would shoot it back, and it was that was it. That was oh wow, <laughs> that was, that was really, very primitive. <laughs> yeah, extremely primitive, dude. I remember that, but. Uh, my sister hated that, and she well, she was young. She was really young, so yeah. she she was like, no, I don't like that. I also had Night Rider on the Atari. <sighs> Night Rider, Knight what Rider. was that? About? What it, was that like? It was, dude. There was no car. Uh-huh. It was quite literally these uh, dots that would that would come at you like if it was a, like a track, it was a rock, the and road. then it would do this like curve to the left. The, uh-huh. the, the the little lights would curve to the left, like if you're going that direction. And I had this little um, the the pad that came with it was this little. It was a pad, uh-huh. and it had this little knob yeah. that you would turn yeah. left or right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the place breakout and super breakout. Okay. Yeah, oh, so, super yeah. breakout was another one that I had. Oh, okay. And and my one of my favorite things uh, to do, I always wanted to you know mod the games, Whoa. you know back in the day. So, okay. did you know that if you grab the cartridge and you turn you know you turn off the Atari and then you put in the cartridge later on, it was you were always told not to not to do that. I think it was because they never wanted you to find the secret levels. <laughs> Or if you took the uh, on and on switch, you hit it on and off really fast, really, ha- really fast. It'll like glitch the 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 system to where uh, with Pac Man and, and especially with Miss Pac Man, which I also uh, happen to own, that it will glitch it in a way that it will create like new le- new uh, levels. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was <laughs> severely glitched, <laughs> so it'll be like you, you know. You, there will be like deformations basically oh, okay, okay. and or going through walls but it was to me it was cool to discover those things so i'll be doing that I'll, I'll be like which with each game to see which one, so will, which one will do something in in cool ways mm-hmm. yeah yeah but that was you know that's that's the system that i started when i never owned a nes oh so i missed that i mean i had a friend that 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 had it and i would go to his house to play contra and double dribber and and Blaze of Steel, damn it, he had nothing but Konami games. Now that I think about it, <laughs> Konami was the only one making games Konami other than was, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, with Konami meant something. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, those were the three games that we would go to, to play. But that's I, where I went. That's uh, uh, that my next one after that was. Uh, I want to say it was eighty six or something like that. It was, uh, but it was uh, the NES. The NES. The NES. That was no, I went. Answer. I went full tilt. Uh, Sega Master System. <laughs> Oh, because I wanted, I wanted the <laughs> most powerful system, and it was. But it was one of those examples of, hey, remember when we were having that conversation? Yeah. That, you know, that day it has power, but it doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it, you know, it was. The so, thing. what games did you have? Because I remember, uh, was what, it Sega Master the, for the masses? I don't really remember much of the masses. I had as a little, I had the first VR experience. Uh, Missile Command. Well, actually, it's 3D. 3D. <laughs> but you had to work. You had to wear special glasses for it, and it was really <laughs> cool because the 3D actually worked. It was very. It was impressive. It, so I had Missile Command. I had uh, Alice Kid, uh, which was uh, their Mario their back Mario. in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what well, they tried to. Their side people. scroller. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, be, before Sonic, they were really trying with Alex Kid, but nah, <laughs> no. Uh, even though it was a good game, it was it was definitely a good game. Uh, and the the best RPG of back in the day, and it was obviously not Zelda. Yeah, it, to me, was it was Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star was an RPG that was light years ahead of whatever technology we were having. That game had no business being on the Sega Master System because it was that good. It had 3D, well, it had um, mock 3D it's graphics. 3D. Yeah, two point five. <laughs> whenever you will go into a dungeon, it'll actually scroll. It will actually go into this pseudo first 3D mode, first person, and it'll scroll. And that was amazing. And and the characters will be the enemies will be like. Like very detailed mm-hmm. on the screen. Of course, you look at the screenshot right now; it looks like nothing. But back in the day, that was ridiculous. I would look at you know people playing Zelda and and or Dragon Dragon Warrior, and I'd be like, "What the hell is this crap? Why are you guys praising <laughs> this? I, look at this crap! Look at this! Look at Fantasy Star! Fantasy! I said Fantasy Star, right? I didn't say Final Fantasy. 
You say fantasy story, yeah. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure because sometimes in comic, in yeah, in talk, I get them confused. But yeah, fantasy star one, and such a good story, bro. Female character, main, you know, protagonist, main uh, female character. Uh, three planets that you could go uh, to, explorable. You could all of them had, you know. And you could go off the beaten path and find a, a, a town and find interesting things on that town, which you could probably skip all together. You didn't need to. It's just it, you happen to find it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, one of the finest examples of RPGs and pretty much the game that first taught me English uh, or helped me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> put you and on the path. Put, English. Yeah, put me, on, put me on the path. Yeah, because I had to, I had to understand what I was reading. Uh, so I will play with a with a dictionary, and also the one that got me interested in RPG games. And of course, I will never you know play an RPG like that until Fantasy Star Two came out. Because, like I said, I'll play Dragon Warrior. Mm-hmm. I will play. Uh, uh, goodness, I even I even tried a game called Hide Light on the NES. Dude, it was uh, that game is an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> that the? game because I'm because I'm looking for my next RPG fix. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. And you're feeling you're you're, you're yeah. I was I was done, yeah. I was already done with Fantasy Star and I needed the next one and and Zelda wasn't it for me. So I was like, uh, I got a, I got an yeah. NES. Uh, you know, somebody loaned me an NES and I was looking for games to play in high life. No, they, I don't think they had a lot at that point. Um, for I mean, I stood on NES forever at that point it was it was the whole time i was there from the beginning mm. uh i had the system that had the duck hunt and the and the mario oh, that, so that, that combination every other system because <laughs> yeah, no, no, you had the that one was that, the main skew yeah you had the yeah but you also you didn't had have the, rob the robot no i didn't have to rob no. the robot um i don't i don't think i ever wanted rob the robot but uh are you crazy yeah i no. think it was awesome it probably was i just it didn't <laughs> interest I me at all wanted, never, but it was like 249 dollars <laughs> Two hundred forty nine U.S. dollars. Yeah, two hundred forty nine U.S. dollars. I mean, <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, but no, I mean, prices. most of the games that came out for it, uh, you know, Kung Fu, uh, obviously, uh, Super Mario Brothers three, Super Mario Brothers two. Yeah, uh, played all of them. So that that was that was started it all, you know, for me. And then I, st- I stuck on that one uh, well, again until the very next skew. See, I I, next I took a, I took a hard detour for from from consoles. When my dad bought me a uh, a computer that was meant to be used for educational purposes, <laughs> but little he bought, did he know? Little did he know? He ended up buying a Commodore sixty four oh, from Sears. Nice from Sears. You even knew where it was from. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember because to me, to this day, that has been the best, the best gaming experience I've ever had. The best console that I've ever owned was the Commodore sixty four. You know, I can't say it was a PC. It was a computer. Mm-hmm. I, you know, back then, we wouldn't call it PC because that was not the format. Uh, but it was amazing because on the Commodore 64, you could pretty much play anything. And if you wanted a game, all you had to do was uh, get a friend, you know, get, get a friend that will have a collection of their games that you could they will pass you this the 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 disc the floppy disk the floppy disk and the floppy disk you will copy them and suddenly you have your own game you know there was no you know DRM of course they tried their weird DRM ways uh where you have to like you have have a key mm-hmm. have a card as we went to to put behind the wow. or uh it'll ask you to uh, in you know in order to play the, before you play the game you know get the instruction manual go to this page and tell me what is the word that is there. And you have to type it. <laughs> you have to own the manual because obviously if you didn't, then you, you know, that know the word. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was, it, it was funny. I remember a cousin of mine. I think it was a Commodore sixty four that he had, and I'll never forget Probably. that it was. It was. Um, it, we had it up in the base uh, in the basement uh-huh. in the in the attic, and we'd go up there because he had a stacks of comic books and all this shit. But anyway, he had this game. I mean, it's it's the only memory I have of this stupid game. <laughs> this guy climbs up to the the very beginning of the level. Load he, runner. He climbs. I don't know. Mm-hmm. He climbs up to the to the to the level like he was climbing a mountain. Now he's here, and now uh-huh. he's he has to go forward, and that's like the beginning of the level. Uh-huh. And he goes out either to fight or something like that. But 
he said, check this out, check this out. And then he, he like, you know, the animation showed him climbing everything. And then once he stood up top, you were able to control him. Okay. And then he just said, check this out. And he backed up and the guy fell off the, the mountain and you died. And that I was, was like, uh, yeah, he was just, he was just showing, that's the only memory I have. And I'm like, <laughs> what the hell was that game? Anyway. I don't know. I mean, there was a, there was a game like that on Atari called Mountain King. It that could be. that you, you would just go, uh, but if you fail, it did, you know, as long as you didn't fell to the very bottom line uh, or, or, or floor, you were okay. Because on the bottom of the line, there would be like this big old tarantula that will come in and eat you. And oh, okay. At that time. But but no, come on, I mean, I played the best version of Skate or Die. The, the best version of Skate or Die. The best version of California games. And the best version of summer and winter games. People will come into my house. To play, you know, to play nice. those games, and it was fantastic. It was like having the Olympics, all of us, <laughs> or you know, or we, we skate, or we, you know, we skate or die. And then I will see the games uh, ported on the on the console, yeah, the like on mm-hmm. the, the the NES, and they will always have something missing. You know, they because they, they they wouldn't, you know, thing yeah, they wouldn't fit smaller. on the they wouldn't fit on the on a the, four meg uh, cart. Yeah, 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 exactly, it was, it was exactly. Really small, yeah. So so. So, so, so I was very, very happy with that. I, I, I will play um, the arcade version of Robocop or <laughs> the Commodore version of the arcade version of Robocop, which was very crude. And it probably was some guy that programmed it in his basement. <laughs> and But it doesn't matter. Double Dragon. Oh, Double Dragon. Goes, mm-hmm. uh, Gotham Goblins. I mean... I had so many games on that on that system, and and it just kept growing because I kept making friends with people that that, that had them. It was, it, the the game will spread like viruses, mm-hmm. basically. So, so that was a that was a great era. That, to me, to this day, I still consider like my golden era. You know, can't remember having enough you know fun. And of course, the Commodore, you had to. I, I would love it everywhere. I mean, that was my Game Boy. Mm-hmm. I, I will I will travel to my. Uh, my 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 family, my aunt's house, like two three hours away. I will take my my Commodore sixty four and my black and white TV, <laughs> and I will have it hooked wherever I went. He was there. Wow. Yeah, that was my portable. <laughs> so where'd you go after that? After well, after the Commodore, I this discover. I mean, good games were starting to 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 come. Well, actually, it, the Super Nintendo. Was I, I went into oh, so games were always Nintendo. yeah I, I did own a Super Nintendo but I owned it uh, and my first game was Super Star Wars oh. so I owned it I had that I didn't have Mario or anything like that just Super Star Wars fantastic time with it and it actually let me you know uh, get me to finally get my Fantasy Star fix when I played uh, Final Fantasy uh, two. Final Fantasy. Well, it was Final Fantasy four. Four in yeah. on, on Japan. But it was two here. But it was two here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh, it was okay. original. So you never did four. the first one? No, yeah, I did. No. I did Final Fantasy on on a, on 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 the eight bit on NES. Oh, okay. But okay. you know, again, after playing Fantasy Star, the the eight bit rival of it, <laughs> it pales in comparison. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know why the Final uh, Fantasy Star series didn't pan out after four. It just stopped. I mean, they still they made like the Fantasy Star Online and crap like that, but that was garbage. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was all. He had his fans, but it was like, no, this is not the way I wanted those games to continue. <laughs> I wanted those, those those games to continue being like 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 Final Fantasy, mm-hmm. uh, you know, were becoming, and unfortunately, it didn't pan out like that. So, fun fact: I I downloaded the Steam version of Fantasy Star Four. Mm-hmm. And I kind of want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Okay. Final, Fantasy, uh, Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star. See? I get confused. Getting confused yeah. Yeah. I did the same thing. That's Like I said, I went from... Uh, the Nintendo was my, was given to me. was as a gift. Mm-hmm. Super Nintendo was the first one that I had bought with my own money that I had saved. Really? Yeah. And uh, oh, actually, sure. yeah, the, that was the first console that I bought. And uh, Sega Genesis was the first console I bought with my money. Yeah. Oh, which, which is right around the same time. Uh, or, or shortly oh. thereafter. Oh uh, yeah, I guess yeah, I guess yeah. you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I guess that would have been age that I yeah, would have been yeah. able to afford it. Yeah, see, uh, yeah. I, I, it was just money that I was getting from people, you know, and I just saved it. And I was like, boom, let's get this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, Super Mario World, 
you know, Link to the Pass. Ugh. Oh, Link to the Pass. That's, that's my golden era right there. That yeah, is Super my, Nintendo? That's where Super yeah. Nintendo. That's where the majority of of my favorite games uh, came in. Forget about that, son. It was all about <laughs> Sega CD. Oh, God. <laughs> it was not about Sega CD at all. What was that? I mean, Bram Stoker, Bram, Bram, what? Now, Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> With Keanu Reeves With Keanu. going... <laughs> Whenever he killed, he got oh killed. My God. The best game. No, it was a terrible game. So God. did you have? So Damn, let me that guess. Was horrible. Did you have the whole? Because the one thing I remember saying around that time was like, who wants to have all these things attached to each other? You no. had the Genesis, I, the Sega CD, I bought a, and Eve, I bought a, the thirty two. I told you I had a Super <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah. So I bought a Sega, uh, a Sega Genesis when this when the smaller version came out. Mm-hmm. And of the Genesis, of the Genesis, mm-hmm. so so I could attach the smaller version also of the Sega, oh, CD. The Sega CD. So my system looks sleek. Sli- <laughs> slick. Did it you wasn't... ever have the 32X? No, no, no. God, on. that's stupid for the hell. No, <laughs> I don't know. I, I never, my path there never took no me through Sega, that. so no. I was always in Nintendo. Really? No, yeah. I, I, I had this, uh, I had the, the Sega Genesis, and the only two games that I could say <laughs> justified it because everything else was unadulterated garbage <laughs> were Sonic Sonic yeah. Sonic Sonic CD the best Sonic there is <laughs> and uh Lunar Silver Star oh I think I'm talking Silver about Saga yeah. or Silver Star yeah it was it, it was a it was, it was a JRPG a JRPG as a JRPG and it definitely gave me what I wanted uh, it was the first game that had voice acting uh, on a uh, on, on on the game itself, on some areas only, <laughs> and you have and you have uh, motion video. I wouldn't call it full motion video because <laughs> the thing was half tiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a oh, little dude, bit of motion. Which reminds me, the if anybody could, for those of you who haven't seen the full motion intro of the U.S. version of Sega CD. Is amazing. It's amazing to hear. that song. It was called Sonic Boom. Oh god! And the song now is nobody cares about that name. Amazing. I want to find it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that name has been tarnished now. <laughs> but that song was so great. <laughs> I wonder if 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 I play a little bit of it, if, if we'll get copyright written uh, on it. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, but just YouTube Sonic Boom Sonic City. That song was awesome. The Japanese version. Some people. Uh, were upset that that game in particular, Sonic CD, the the Japanese version had a different soundtrack. Like they changed it for U- the US. Mm-hmm. I love the US soundtrack a lot more than the Japanese soundtrack. Everybody else is like, no, the Japanese soundtrack is the best soundtrack for that game. Uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That soundtrack for the US was amazing. So much that you could grab the disc and put it on your disc man and listen to it. Also, nice. it was awesome. It was great. Well, from there, I made a leap that not many people did. <laughs> I, I went from the Super NES, and again, another purchase of my own, to the Nintendo 64. Oh, <laughs> Nintendo 64. Yes. Yeah, by then, I was moving here to Florida. You know, I never, yeah, I had no interest in it. Let it me was, tell you. Say what I you saw, want about the... I, I'll uh, tell you what it was. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I'm saying, t- say what you want about the Switch oh. and its lineup. There were two games available. <laughs> Mario, yeah, Mario. We had the Mario, which, which you know, let's be real, probably Mario. one of the more important games of of uh, oh yeah of, of, the, of that generation. Yeah. Uh, and Pilot Wings. And Pilot Wings. I was gonna say Pilot, <laughs> Pilot Wings sixty four, yeah. and I had them both. And <laughs> of course. I'll never forget that I didn't pay. This is a shame. I'm a little bit ashamed here. I didn't pay for Pilot Wings. I went to a Toys R Us to pick up the the, the 64, uh-huh. and I had the uh, the Mario and everything. And then they came and put the Pilot Wing box next to it, uh-huh. and then they slid it over to me because I had I paid for it in advance. Like I actually pre ordered, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, one of the first pre orders. Yeah, one of my first mistake pre orders. <laughs> so um, did so, you get any extra DLC with it? <laughs> well, this is what I got because I never played for Pilot Wings. But when she slid it over, me and my boy were out there. Were like. 
Well, All right, we just took it and get going. I was like, I don't know why they gave it to me. That but. was your deal. That was your pre-order bonus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, know. pre-order bonus. You were thinking that you were getting out of the way with it, like very slick, like ah, oh, yeah. No, that was your pre-order early, bonus. Yeah. <laughs> An early be before That's pre-order got, bonuses. Because who the hell's gonna be? Who the hell's gonna play? Boom, we're gonna buy a pilot wing by itself. <laughs> I ended up getting pilot. I was like, hey, well, <laughs> that was. <laughs> it was okay. It was a uh, four. What it was, it was all right. You know um, what? I remember seeing. Uh, Mario uh, 64 for the first time at a Toy Story Us, and I was mesmerized. Like to me, that was like alien technology. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then I looked at that gamepad. <laughs> that was it. That's all I'm it took. Sorry. Especially, I never had an issue with that. When I played the uh, was the Sega Saturn out by that time. Uh, Sega Saturn may have been. Let me see. Uh, it was the Sega. There was this game called Night. Ah. Uh, Shit. I'm, night trap? I'm, no. No, 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 not night trap. <laughs> Keep freaking trying night trap. Uh, I, the, it was, oh shoot, what's the game? It was a game called, I want to say it was called Knights. It was it was a mascot, but he was purple. Oh, yes. Wait, he looked like a jester. He looked yeah, like yeah. a jester, yes. yes. And that game had a gamepad, which I never saw. It was, this thing was like, Man, if you thought the the Xbox controller was big, this thing was ridiculous. It oh, was I remember. Huge. Yes, I remember. But it was comfortable to me. If and it has so that many was buttons. comfortable to me. That was comfortable <laughs> because I mean I was a kid with big hands. <laughs> it, it was it was I had no problem with it. I thought it was like phenomenal. All right, let's see here. So the Sega Saturn was released North America. In 1995, May 1995. Okay. 64 came. Oh, wow. Then never mind because that would have been. 64 was 96. So Saturn was already out. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it was already out. Okay. Oh, how odd. Because it's in 1995, like the end of 1995 when the the PlayStation came out? Uh, Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Wow. So what did you. Did you go. You didn't go to 64. So from your uh, Genesis, did you do Saturn? No, I didn't do Saturn. I you went right to PlayStation. <laughs> no, I think. Let me see. I, actually, yes, I went straight to PlayStation. Okay, and it was because my girlfriend at the time, well, her mom <laughs> bought it for me. Oh, nice. Okay, my girlfriend's mom bought a, a PlayStation for me uh, with uh, with Tekken. Oh, Tekken Tag Tournament. Tag Tournament. Yeah. Dude, that thing was amazing. I brought that here, and. I you know the rest is history as they say. <laughs> no, yeah. It's I mean what can what can you say? Play the original PlayStation, you know, the second best console after the Commodore sixty four. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. For me, believe it or not, I wasn't going to go for a PlayStation. It, it was. I, I mean, I, I mean, I saw it, but I had the sixty four, and games started to trickle in yeah. um, from uh, Nintendo. And I think it wasn't until it was Final Fantasy seven. A friend had a PlayStation. He was playing Final Fantasy VII, and I was mesmerized. Oh, yeah, yeah, mesmerized. I was like, I need this amount. That was '97 that that game came out. Mm. So it had it been late '97, early '98 that I finally got a PlayStation One, mm-hmm. and I had remember I had both the N64 and the uh, PlayStation hooked up. Oh wow! And uh, it was all about Final Fantasy VII, Once and of course, that. It, yeah, that was it. And it uh, of course introduced God knows how the library after that. You know, and I was like, Pfft. but there was a period. Was there a period? Oh, we haven't gotten to it just yet. The, your Dark Ages. Oh, where you stop? Yeah, when you stop playing. Yes, yes, we haven't got to that. Oh, I have to. Oh, okay, okay. So, all right, all right. Yeah. So, sorry. All right. So we're coming to it, though. We're coming yeah. to it. Okay, okay. Because, because, uh, yeah. Oh man, PlayStation. Uh, it was the, a shit. And I shit. modded my PlayStation. Actually, I broke a PlayStation that I bought, and I immediately replaced it with another one. I paid again to to get another one because I was trying to mod ship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not just to play the the backer games and just to, I mean, it was Tony so Hawk. good it was so good you can play but it was you were able to play uh music cds yeah and it was just like oh this is amazing this is yeah technology this thing is, is shit. This, again <laughs> alien technology yeah, at exactly. that time <laughs> exactly and that controller was amazing it's like it, everything about the playstation was on point 
you know, they get, yeah. at, that, at that time. They knocked it out of the park. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had the backing. And they had some, it also introduced me to some really obscure titles. Mm-hmm. Because there were titles coming for it that were very Japanese, you know? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I mean, you got a lot of Japanese stuff out of Nintendo. Mm. But uh, but it was, again, few and far between at that point. Because even they were, remember, they were stuck in mm. in uh, cartridges while everybody else is moving over to discs. Yeah. Because Saturn was already on disc. PlayStation's now on disc. Um yeah, I remember that. That was a, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, little by little, my Nintendo sixty four just stopped being used. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I remember when I moved from one place to another, I moved I moved things around. Uh-huh. I and I, I didn't even connect to sixty four again. Oh wow! <laughs> it was just like, well, I'm not. I don't. I'm not, I'm not even buying games for it. And then the games were mad expensive because they were on cartridge. Yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah, they were getting crazy. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy. I think cost eighty dollars. Uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter two on on um, any on super nes to me was ridiculous like i could not believe that that was actually possible it was great so much that i remember uh being here on vacation when that game came out and i was reading egms and getting super excited i had a friend in in, in puerto rico that that he was he he, he had it and he but but he has, he was going through chip, chicken pox. Mm-hmm. He had the chicken pox. Oh, wow. I didn't care. I just went in <laughs> and I wanted to play Street Fighter. I didn't care if I was gonna get chicken pox. What? So be it. Yeah. But I was gonna play. I didn't have to put quarters anymore. And it was an amazing like man. Talk about an excellent arcade port. Yeah, that was, was the first time that I saw such a faithful representation of an arcade. And forget it, yeah. you know. Not, again, knocked it out of the park. Yeah. On the on the uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, that led to the dark the ages. Dark ages. <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. Things happened in my life. Uh, my my mom ended up moving to Florida. I moved to to I ended up moving into a room by myself. Money was extremely extremely tight, so I sold my PlayStation. I sold my sixty four. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I went a good. A good amount of time without playing anything, and uh, wow. until uh, and then I even met I met my wife. That's um, rough. I don't even want to make fun of that. That was that like sounds... two thousand one. So there's a gap in there. Uh, two thousand one is when I um, uh, somewhere around there is when I ended up getting the PlayStation two. And yes, that was. So I think PlayStation two was two thousand. I mean, double check. I, yeah, I could be wrong, but I do remember saving. Uh, saving money for the PlayStation 2, and I still have my receipt, well, my digital receipt, because uh, that's all around the time when I started getting accepted with your know, credit cards, <laughs> credit card offers. <laughs> so, of course, I want to put that bitch on credit. <laughs> I didn't have whatever it was that they were asking for, three ninety nine, two ninety nine. 99 Yeah, well, it was, I don't remember what the original price was. But, but I mean, it, I needed, to, after the, are you kidding, after the PlayStation, of course I was going to own the PlayStation 2. And Actually, it was a little bit after that because it was two thousand. No, it was that's one. No way. Hold on. What the hell? PlayStation Two. PlayStation. Go ahead. Keep it, talking. It was. <laughs> it, it, Not giving me the. I'm, I'm trying to. Be, I'm trying to remember which games I uh, I play, and I'm, I might have made a mistake. Did Tekken Tag Tournament came out on PlayStation One or PlayStation Two? Two thousand came out. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Tekken Tag Tournament was a PlayStation title, right? Or was it or, or was it PlayStation Two? It may have been PlayStation Two. Like yeah, I might be confusing. Yeah, I might. I might kind of like yeah. uh, there was th- there was a Tekken game that I that I remember owning. Tekken on. Two, probably. Maybe it's Tekken Two. Probably. Maybe just the first Tekken. Maybe who knows? Who knows? But yeah. um, so so so. But I remember um, ordering that online from EB Games or GameStop. I think they were GameStop by then. And and then I did uh, something unexpected. Uh, I bought a GameCube. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's I, a left turn there, my friend. Yep. <laughs> now, I want to say, yeah, I bought a GameCube. i tell you why I got, uh, bought a GameCube. Two games. The Bro. Uh, no, bro. Melee. No. No? Oh. No, 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 no. This was... Uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Okay, okay. Star Wars Rogue Squadron and Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime is great. Metroid Prime mm-hmm. was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And I bought that 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 uh, GameCube at the beginning. 
or at the end of the year, I don't remember which one, which year uh, it was. But I rem the reason I, I remember is because back then, or I still they still do this today, where you bought it during the holiday season, you still ha you could still return something until January. Oh, really? Thirty first or something. Wait a minute, I think I remember. Something yeah, they like do that. that. Yeah, 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 they, they, okay. they do it all the time. So <laughs> I funny. bought and played the through completion, uh, Metroid Prime. Such a and, good game. Yeah, and I returned the back oh, to GameStop when I was done because <laughs> I didn't because there was nothing else that interested me, and that that gameplay was still too weird. I mean, Metroid Prime was excellent, Rock Squadron was eh, it was okay. It wasn't it didn't like super impress me like I thought it was. I thought that was gonna be the game that I was gonna give, dedicate more time, but I trade I, I gave it back full. They gave me a full refund for both things. And I put it towards uh, the OG Xbox. The OG, oh, the original Xbox. With Halo. Because by nice. then, that's what that's the thing. After I was finished with, with Metroid Prime, I saw Halo. <laughs> and suddenly, and then my life changed. <laughs> and suddenly, <laughs> I fell in love. Was the same. I saw that thing and I won. And because they were, they were not... Exactly, exactly. Price. I think the X, the Xbox was like fifty dollars more. I, mm -hmm. I could be wrong. It could have been like a hundred or even more. It was more. Cooker, mm -hmm. But I'm thinking of of the size. GameCube, cute and tiny. OG Xbox, this behemoth of a thing. <laughs> this big plastic black yeah, box. It's yeah. like I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> Let me get this behemoth of a thing with the uh, with the Duke controller. They call it the Duke controller. Which was the big ass <laughs> game? Oh, it, again, super comfortable. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. A lot of people hated it, and I understand why, because <laughs> they couldn't reach the button. <laughs> but that thing was amazing, and Halo, and that did it. You know, from there, I can say the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. I never, as many of you guys know, never own any Xbox uh, console. Uh, I was about to. And, yeah, you came uh, very close, actually. Uh, extremely close. So between PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, I was considering it. Yeah. Uh, never actually got the Xbox. Then the X, uh, Xbox 360 came out. Mm. And it looked better. I was like, okay. Friends had it. I hadn't jumped yet. At some, somewhere, in the where, uh, somewhere in there is when I ended up getting the Wii. Uh, PlayStation 3 gets announced at 599 US dollars. 599 US dollars. And yeah. I was like... Fuck that! I'm not buying no six hundred dollar <laughs> console. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I honestly, because of the price alone, I stay away from PlayStation. I still have my PlayStation Two, mm. and I was playing. I remember I was playing a uh, uh, Final Fantasy twelve around oh, that yeah. time, and um, and then a friend comes by. He lends me his Xbox 360, and he's like, "Hey man, you got to check these two games." He he, sh he brought in Assassin's Creed, the very first one. Oh wow, yeah, and Bioshock, and Bioshock. <laughs> oh fuck. I it. put in Bioshock, <laughs> and he was like, yo, I got to go run some errands. I was like, that's cool, man. I plugged in and everything. And I was going to play and a little bit of one, a little bit of the other. And that's like, when your life changed. <laughs> never freaking even opened the, the Assassin's Creed, dude. I was <laughs> Good choice. like stuck. And then the funny thing is, <laughs> he knocked on the door, and I'm like, my dude. God. It's been hours. I didn't even realize <laughs> so much time had passed. I'm like, crap. And right then and there, I said, I need a because it yeah. wasn't on PlayStation Three, yeah. And I was like, I need a fucking Xbox 360. <laughs> I need one. I need one. I need one. So I started putting money aside for. It. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to do this. I'm just gonna have to do this. <laughs> and right around the time where I was about to buy, ah. <laughs> where I was about to buy it, the mass red ring issue started hitting everybody, <laughs> even my friend you who lent me the console. <laughs> you see what happened? You see what happened? Xbox, you had a chance. <laughs> To have one of the strongest <laughs> proponents of console gaming in and, and he went to the to the other team <laughs> because you screwed the, the pooch. So honestly, the, the issues that people and the funny it just I mean all Xbox three sixty owners know that shit was running rampant. That Being thing is, no no it all happened no, at the same time. Let me tell time, you bro. I I had two Xbox in my in my household. I, I was married back then. And me and my wife had each, each other had their, you know our, our own Xbox that we bought. I think around well maybe not at the same time, but but we bought them because we wanted to play Gears of War together. Mm -hmm. And they both ranked Red Ring around the same time, like days one days from the other. It was so ridiculous, and that mass recall, that crazy thing, yeah, it definitely. 
Turn like, me I could right see, off. Turn I could me right see off, yeah. Not just you. I could see a lot of people like going, fuck it. How much you said it was? Five hundred nine hundred dollars. <laughs> well, here, take hey, my money. I still, unfortunately, <laughs> did not do that. Uh, I went. Uh, I waited out. Kept going out. I was playing the Wii, and we had early on. We had a lot of games. You know what I mean? Not all good. You know what I mean? But uh, they <laughs> had, had a lot, had of, a lot games. of games. And um, so I was playing the Wii, and then finally they announced the uh, the slim model of the PlayStation Three at two ninety nine. And that's, that's when, when I first got That's when you went next gen. Jesus. That's when I went wow, next gen. At that that point, actually, yeah. wow, that took, and that was a while into it. That took a while years, into yeah. it. Yeah, because I was gonna say because because I I changed my uh, eventually I, I I I had I told you the the one that I had the red ring and then I got rid of that broke it down pieces <laughs> turned the trash. Uh, I bought uh, an Elite, which was the same thing, but in black. Mm-hmm. But I was still a little concerned about red. It didn't red ring mm-hmm. on me that one, but. It, it was still that old model, you know, supposedly with different innards. But then the Slim or the Stealth, whatever it was called, the Xbox Xbox uh, 360S, 360S yeah. came out. And that thing was gorgeous. I mean, that thing, it, beautiful design. Really nice, really nice. And I had to, I, even though I already own uh, uh, on one, I had to have that smaller one. And that smaller one... Props to them. They fixed the issues the, of the red ring. The problem is it was already too late. By then, you know, we already lost Arnaldo. <laughs> <laughs> well, By I then, mean, it was... They didn't lose everybody because yeah. I mean, people were... Because it was a next-gen console, it was it was a next-gen gaming. Mm-hmm. Real next-gen. Let's be real. Yeah. From yeah. the 360 to PlayStation... Uh, 360 slash PS3 to PlayStation 4, Xbox One. It's not that big of a leap. No, a lot of the a lot of the leap is in the is in the background, not really yeah. in the visuals. But from PlayStation Two mm-hmm. and Xbox to PlayStation Three and uh, Xbox Three Sixty, that was a yeah, leap. it was monumental. You know what I mean? It was definitely. And because Three Sixty had that year mm-hmm. in advance start, I mean, people leapt, yeah. leapt. It was just going left and right. I mean, and I I was going to, but I, I you know, so luckily for me, I was because I I would be really really heated. Um, if if it happened to me, don't worry, guys. <laughs> we'll we'll get him with the with the with the Scorpio with the Scorpio with the Scorpio. <laughs> That's our only hope. That's actually the reason why they're making it so powerful. <laughs> See if we don't entice him. Well, hopefully it doesn't uh, red ring or something. Oh. <laughs> no, and then of course we're up to the current gen, and uh, I yeah. You know. I, at that point, now. Uh, I mean, I, I realized I skipped my PC era. My PC era started early. It started mm-hmm. actually right around the time that uh, PlayStation was out. Problem is that by then, PlayStation games were looking really, really good. PC games were still, you know, looking like mist. You know, the games <laughs> yeah, were yeah. all mist. Which looked good, but it's not. It looked good, but it moved horrible. <laughs> and yeah, and then. It wasn't until 3D FX, uh, the company, uh, the, the, the video card company, made the Voodoo cards on PC. Wow, the Voodoo card, I remember Voodoo that. Voodoo and Dang. Voodoo Two, and and those those days, uh, I was starts you know playing Quake uh, in 3D in real 3D and games like that. That my interest slowly started you know switch not switching but complementing mm-hmm. you know the console gaming with the with the the pc gaming because because i was playing all uh original titles on the pc that were not on consoles you know mac war mac warrior uh xbox had mech assault but it was not mech warrior it was not exactly you know the same thing uh and 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 games like like that and i kept you know liking pc enough to where i started learning how to change parts and eventually build my own and and so on and so forth and i spent a lot of money on it uh throughout the years because i'll be you know i didn't know i i was self-taught so sometimes i will break <laughs> shit <laughs> sometimes <laughs> and then and then the way to for me to fix it was okay let me just throw money at it <laughs> you know i'm just gonna get the other a uh, uh, new part and uh man <laughs> the days of uh releasing drivers for the voodoo cards uh or for sound cards even but more for the video cards that that was like an event that was like an event where people will will be the owners of course mm-hmm. they'll, they'll be on the news groups for that particular uh company you know 3d effects back in the day 
and just just talking to the developers that the, to the to the people they're saying that are releasing the drivers being like okay okay we're ready you know when is it going to be released and they'll be like okay it's going to be released at this time and this time and it'll be almost like a party you wow. know just because they were releasing better drivers <laughs> <laughs> that will do a, a little increase in performance on you know on games and and that was it and then the game the the company uh went in to get uh bought by N Nvidia which mm -hmm. was his fiercest competitor back then and and then that whole technology came together and now we have Nvidia you know but yeah that is that is my gaming resume I would say because you know the latest thing we already know yeah, what we, we know have we're, now. we're yeah. at PS4 my uh uh I guess the last piece of my gaming uh resume would be PC gaming. I just because I have this laptop, you got a, you that got can, a laptop, yeah, yeah. That, can, that can handle PC games, and uh, I haven't played anything on it just yet, except for the Stanley Parable. Yeah, <laughs> the Stanley Parable. Parable. You were playing uh, uh, Ori. I have Ori. Course. I haven't. Yeah. Any, I, well, I played a little bit. Of a little it. bit. Yeah, the, yeah, the very beginning. Little by little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Baby I'll, steps. I'll get back Baby to steps. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, guys, that's our gaming resumes. And uh, by all means, leave yours on the comments. Uh, I'm going to post this on the group, of course. Uh, if you're listening to this on YouTube or uh, Google Play or iTunes, by all means, leave comments, reviews. Let us know what your res what your resumes look like. I'd be interested in knowing if anybody else on a Commodore 64 or 128 or even a VIC-20. I would like to know if anybody had a freaking 7200 Atari. 7200. Yes. Who the hell owned that? I don't know. I, know I knew the, someone that that had it, but yeah, yeah. I had the I had the first one. I maybe the second one. No, I don't think so. No, just the first one. But with the wood, with the wood finish. With the wood finish. Yes. <laughs> the yes. wood paneling. <laughs> Why are we not having consoles with wood paneling anymore? Jeez. They need to happen. No, no, please no. They need to. I would totally put a decal. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, I probably would too. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Yeah. If it's a decal that I can later on go, oh, that's uh, okay. I'm take it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that uh, going to bring us to the end of episode 40 of GG's The Mouthful. This is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog, signing off for this week. Mr. Twisted Dreamer. Twisted <laughs> <laughs> Dreamer. Um, just one last thing. Talk to me. GG! GG! I didn't say it before, so you that's didn't. why I needed to. Yeah, it was bothering me throughout the whole day. I needed to say it out. So, Fair enough. We say our goodbyes. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. GG! <laughs>